Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do something a, a little different. I've got the controller out, and we're going to try a game called Ghostly Matter. This is a game that just came out on Steam yesterday. It's a, uh, it's a sort of side-scrolling point-and-click adventure game, mystery adventure game. According to the Steam page, they call it a Metroidvania. Maybe, maybe. Um, but it's devel uh, developed by Small Bros, and they sent me a key to show it off, and uh, I just wasn't in the mood for our usual affair, so I thought we'd... Uh, try something a bit different. So let's jump in here into Ghostly Matter and start it up here. So there's a lot of story and, and, and reading going on here, so prepare for uh, my voice. Uh, the dimension of the living and that of the dead share the same space-time continuum, but like the two superimposed glass panes, they cannot interact. If they were to physically come in contact, the world as we know it would cease to exist. These are D Professor Emilius Pendergast and his colleague Dr. Walter Melville, the leading figures as well as the greatest experts in the study of paranormal phenomena. phenomena. Their incredible story is about to start. They are able to build many sophisticated tools through years of research and experiments, the most important of which is certainly the polterscape, polterscope, a special visor that enables enable to see into the dimension of the dead, a truly revolutionary discovery. After the initial success, there were, however, differences. If, on the one hand, Melville, driven by success, wanted to continue the research aimed at full controlling the spirit dimension. On the other hand, Pendergast soon realized that the danger that all this could have, and knew that further research in this direction would lead to catastrophic consequences. In fact, the polterscope is not just a visor, but a dimensional portal that takes those who use it to a limbo between the world of the living and the dead, potentially exposing them to corruption and let darkness take hold. If, and if that were to happen, a paradox would be created. The two worlds would have a point of contact. Pendergast refused to support Melville, whose only ambition was to make the border between the two dimensions ever thinner. Inevitably, the two scientists quarreled, and Pendergast, not without worries, went his own way and had no more contact with his colleague for over ten years. Until... 1986. All right, we're in my lab. I am Professor Pendergast. My assistant, Amanda, and I are working on some experiments with electronic voice phenomena. And here we are. Here is the game. It has a sort of, yeah, you know, this sort of retro-ish um, side-scrolling kind of thing. Uh, Professor, the machine is almost ready. I'm just making the final touches now, but it seems uh, that an electric valve burned out during the last test. Uh, I think it's due to the overload of transmitted kinetic energy. I'll take care of it. You just make sure that all parameters remain the same. Okay, so here we go. So we have the ability here to walk around and basically look at everything. I should replace this computer. Uh, we can go look at the Vengeance Radio. We've got this uh, thing that has a burned out valve. You can see it, it missing up here on top. I can talk to Amanda over here. Hey, Amanda. Uh, machine's almost ready. Just make the final touches. Yeah. Uh, we can see all my, my complex monitoring system. Uh, but what we're going to do is going to go around and grab ourselves a bulb. And, uh, and go see if we can find it. Exploration is over everything in Ghostly Matter. Uh, you can inspect most of the items that surround you by pressing B. Yes the B button, because I'm using a controller, I can't believe it. B button also lets you interact with the environment, like opening doors, pulling levers, talking to other characters, activating mechanisms, and much more. Alright, well, let's go. open the door. There we go, we're in a new room. Okay, so we have these discs flying around. That is our, our save, point, uh, save spot. And I, I as well am confused as to why my house has a hole, and I have to jump up here, but uh, you know what? Whatever. We're, uh, we're about to be shooting ghosts, so <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be asking too many questions. Microwave oven. Yeah, excellent. Uh, coffee. Can I have it? No. Cooking relaxes me, but I have more important things to take care of right now. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we do have an inventory menu, which is right here. We have a diary and all that. We'll get all this eventually, but for now, we're going to run over here and pet our cat. Hello, cat. Bumble is sleeping. We're going to go over here to this chest and open it up. Hey, I got a key. I kind of know what I'm doing here, so it's not too much mystery here. Uh, you found your first item. Uh, to choose an item, enter the inventory and select it by pressing A on it. Yeah, yeah, thanks, game. Okay, so we've got a key up there. You can see it up in my uh, menu up there. I'm going to use this key to open up a safe because i got to get a bulb. Because, like all good scientists, I keep my my uh, my keep my safe, my light bulbs, my, well, it's not a light bulb, uh, in safes in my room. In my bedroom, we can check out... Oh, I can't look in there. Be very comfortable bed. Got a, uh, a desk here. We have a proton pack laying there on the, uh, in the in the shelf there, and I have a safe right here. Let's use the old key and grab the old um, what is that called? Um, light bulb. <laughs> called a light bulb. <laughs> Head this way. 1986 technology is what that's called. All right, hey Amanda, guess what? I got it. Very well, Professor. No, but not enough energy yet. We need to operate the auxiliary generator in the basement. Oh, all right, all right. Why don't you know what? If if I hired an assistant, shouldn't the assistant be doing this 
menial tasks. I should be standing around doing nothing. Isn't that how this is supposed to work? I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to work. I hate going down the basement. It always gives me the creeps. There we go, there we go. Oh, uh, hey, mouse. Ho, 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 ho. First death. You powered up the auxiliary generator. Excellent. All right, here I come. Creepy thing is the light bulb swaying in the uh, the non-existent breeze in the, in the uh, basement. All right, uh, Amanda, uh, I would like to talk to you. Um, I think we should work good to go. Let's go talk to her. Save the old game. Hey, uh, Amanda. Good. Now everything's ready. All we have to do is start the experiment. October twenty third, nineteen eighty six, laboratory of Professor Pendergast, transdimensional EVP interception through hyperfrequencies. Experimenting number seven, starting the de detector. Detector on. I feel like an engineer on Star Trek. Lots of large words. We are receiving something. Hiss. Help! Here is hiss. Can anyone hear me? It's William Shatner on the other side. It's cold and dark. Blood, my god. Blood was everywhere. We should have never have gone in. Evil. Pure evil was waiting for us. Please help. Here. Blackwood. They're all dead. Is someone listening? I don't know how much I have left. To save myself, you have to... The artifact! Lots of dots! Yes? Oh, man. The machine has overloaded again. But what the devil is... No, oh, it can't be. There must be something I missed. Professor, is there something wrong? You look worried. I have to say that all this is rather bizarre. Not to say impossible, but that was Melville's voice. I bet my life on it. Melville? You mean your old colleague? Exactly. I've not been in contact with him for more than ten years since... Well, you know the whole story. There's something very odd going on. Better set aside the old grudges and go check out his laboratory. I mean, maybe I'll understand more. Meanwhile, you stay here and try to get the EVP detector story started. Radio me if there's any news. All right, Professor, but be careful. I have a strange feeling about this. It's precisely because of your abilities that I am... I wanted you as my assistant, dear Amanda. But it's too early to draw conclusions. It's probably just the old paranoia of a crank cantankerous old man like me. I'll be back sooner than you think. Okay, but beware. My feeling isn't uh, isn't leaving me. All right, all right. So uh, before we leave the house, we grab the proton pack. Maybe Amanda's right. I better bring my equipment with me. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. This is... So I have a problem with Metroidvania games. I don't like them. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't think qualifies as that because there's there's too much story to be a Metroidvania game. Uh, you've set up your faithful uh, Polter Blast to shoot. Use the RT button and you'll uh, yeah, 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 got it, got it. Shoot things all around like a maniac. Okay. But yeah, I am. Uh, oh, there's a bathroom. Can I use the bathroom? No, no, no thanks. Yep, yep. Wash the hands. Yep. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, yeah. Obviously, those of you that see my channel, I'm I'm horrible, horrendous. I think is maybe the the, uh, the word I'd use at uh. uh like, quick, quick, touching, quick using controller games. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know what kind of game it is. All right, into the car. And it, we're jumping up and down in there. Something's going on in, their, in, that, in that car. Okay, so my uh, my blaster has a uh, an ammo there. Uh, I'm driving along the, hi uh, the highway to the laboratory of his former colleague, Dr. Melville, located near... Astoria, Oregon. This is uh, definitely the best place to start looking for evidence to figure out if tonight's strange EVP interception has anything to do with him. Driving through the night with a little uh, luck, he should arrive at his destination the following day early in the morning. October 24th. Melville's home and laboratory. Apparently we had luck. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the house of uh, Professor Jerk. Melville's mailbox. His package has been uh, left inside, but no one has come to get it yet. Well, then get it. Freebie. Uh, I don't remember how long it's been since I last visited here. Apparently everything seems the same. I know how long it's been. Ten years. I look gnomes. Alright. Melville has a very large house. Came in without permission. Hello? Uh, we don't need anything. Go away and come back again. Um, alright, alright. Seems that politeness has deserted these parts. Yeah, those or Oregonians, or Oregonians. That's what you call someone from Oregon, or Oregon. One or the other. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do it, but I've had an idea. Yeah, you know, I had an idea before this. I wanted that package before because I wanted to steal it. Can I like? I guess I can't look at it. Hello. 
I already said that the visits to this house aren't welcome. Postman here. I have an urgent parcel to be delivered to Dr. Melville. In that case, come in, but don't waste much of my time. All right. Thanks. You're not the postman. What do you want? I apologize, but I urgently need to talk to the master of this house, Dr. Melville, who should still be living here, if I'm not mistaken. The master of the house. Is this 1896? 1886? Uh, he's not home, but I have to inform you immediately that we do not buy vacuum cleaners, nor do we have problems with cockroaches here. Good to know, but isn't that... Never mind. I'm Professor Pendergast, an old friend of Melville's. I have no time to explain, but you must believe me when I say that I have reason to think that he may have been, be in serious danger. Would you mind being so kind to let me pass and have a look at his studio? Pendergast. Never heard of it. He left on a big work trip days ago and recommended trusting no one, let alone letting a stranger into his lab. And now, if you don't mind, a repeat of the last... Exp episode of this, uh, of the bold and the beautiful is about to start on TV. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, as I mentioned, I, I kind of know what's going on here. I kind of know what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's a chest over here. Something useful in one of the drawers. Yeah, what is it? It's, a. Um, it's not, a, it's not an onk. What's the other one? Onk and the crux? What's, um, the Egyptian thing called? You can stick your nose wherever you like. Oh, the housekeeper might get the wrong idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I go over here? Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so we're gonna go see if we can have an open window around here. Oh, would you look at that? There's an open window. Slightly open. If only I had something I could try to open the catch that keeps it locked. Oh, yeah, like that Egyptian thing I got in my pocket. There we go, you managed to open the window with a, pro uh, with a rod. Oh, it's called a rod. Well, after correspondence theft, uh, I don't see why I should skip burglary and breaking and entering. All right. Enough time wasting. I have to search for some useful clues. Well, let's see what's in the coffee cups. Entered Melville's kitchen. Wash my hands. Take something out of the fridge. Oh, what do I get? I got milk. Uh, I think I can drink that. Actually, I'm getting a little more to the part of the game where I'm a little less sure what's going on here. So, I'll try to not be uh, completely oblivious, though. But we can jump up some stairs. There's a little room down there. I love little room. Melville has lots of lots of books. Mountains and mountains of books, I suppose, uh, is the answer. Uh, you found your first power-up. Power-ups are special items that give the professor an additional ability that is always active. To see the power-ups and their function, go to the inventory with the back button. What is my power-up? Power-ups. How do I go there? How do I go there? Uh, what did, what did it say? Uh, uh, mm. Hmm. Oh. You know, I don't use controllers a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I, I can see all my info about what's going on. Okay, cool. Um, you know, maybe we won't look and see what our power-up is. I drank my regeneration milk already. With the select button, you can access the archive using the art. Yeah, we saw that. Find all the documents and collect during the adventure and read through my diary, which we just saw that. You have, uh, try to find two documents that Melville has hidden in this room. All right. Alright, anything? Any? Desk? Eh? Photo attracts your attention on the notice board. A Polaroid of the sinister looking house, seemingly located in Scotland. I'm pretty sure everything in Scotland is is sinister. Uh, a real FBI profile's notice board. Phone, uh, photos, notes, and of course the red thread. It seems that Melville was researching an old house. Yeah, I think I know which one. Collection of notes. More notes. Uh, wasn't I supposed to get two things in here? Did I look in this one? No? No? Trash can? No. Alright, alright. Next room. A bar. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm back outside. There's a button here I notice. I have it. Is it this? No. Uh, well, maybe I'll find it later. But it turns everything green. Let's go this way. Um, did, I, did I miss something? Maybe not. Okay, well, whatever. Um, this way. Nothing in, in, in nothing in here. Yep, yep. All the same stuff. All right, all right. I feel like I might have missed something, but let's go back over here. This is just uh, kitchen stuff. We don't care about kitchen stuff. There was a door we didn't go through, right? We went. We had two two choices, right? We went right. We could have gone left, but we went right. Right. Uh, 
Nothing of interest. Save spot. Globe. I found some sausage. I guess I can probably eat that. Clearly I've missed a spot. Okay, going back. Going back to find something. I'm sure there's something in that other room. That 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 book room. So let's go find it. Okay. Not the book room. In the, the other room. Right, we looked through all these. Nothing in here. Just mountains and mountains of books. In here. There. Whoop. How did I miss that before? Any assistants have left the containment containment zone door open again. We had to destroy dozens of precious samples and we lost days of research all because I trust in incompetence. Today I set a new password, but to avoid further surprises for my idiotic assistants, I've given them all a false one. After intense analysis of the facts, I would say that 1234 is not a safe enough code. Okay. Okay. Archive und up updated. I'm going to click a whole bunch because there's... Did I perhaps miss... Like, look at this. Like this gray one. Nothing there. Really? Really? And that goes back outside. And that goes... Oh. Oh. Audio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a whole other door in there. All right. Back up this way. Boxes. Boxes. Lots of things. Box full of used batteries. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And come on the right path. Rocking chairs. More suitcases. Who, who has so many suitcases? And a chest. Yes. Found something useful. That, something that could be useful. I can't believe it. This is the old polterscope prototype that Melville and I developed more than a decade ago. I don't know how to, wise it is to take it with me, knowing the consequences it can bring, but I need all the help I can get to find and save Melville. All right, Melville. There's the button I was looking for. Okay, so we can go into the upside-down world, basically. You found the legendary polterscope, the device created by Professor Me and Dr. Melville, capable of identifying entities from other dimensions. This is a very important tool which will accompany you throughout the adventure. Polterscope is not just an advisor. It is capable of bringing those who use it to the threshold of a spectral world, allowing them to see things that would otherwise be invisible. Spectres, creatures from other dimensions, traces that have been deleted from time, etc. It can also reveal optical illusions. All right. Downside is that its batteries run out very quickly, so it's up to you to use it wisely. Also, being transported so close to the spectral dimension has its price. The more time you spend with your polterscope on, the more your life will be sucked away in the dimension of the dead. One more reason to use it with extreme caution. But don't be afraid. You can start experimenting with the polterscope by browsing Melville's house with the right button. Right, right bumper button. Uh, don't forget it might be useful to examine some documents you collect. Yep, yep. Okay, why does this keep blinking over here? Stop blinking. Okay. Keep on walking over here. Now, I think those batteries, I think, are actually going to be useful now. Right? Yes, we got batteries for our for our polterscope. Okay, back down the uh, scary hallway. Or scary, strange tower. And back over this way. Okay. Um, I think we might be done here. Oh, you know what? I think I saw something on... I don't know where I saw it. One of the screenshots, I saw something. And I think I, I, think I know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, see that little room over there? That uh, you can see it kind of over there. There's a door over there. Something's going on over there. Well, I think I know what's going on. We can go. We can... Aha! Yes. Secret door because of our fancy glasses. I swear this is the entrance to Melville's secret laboratory. If he designed this sophisticated cover-up, it means that he is working on something big. Yeah, I bet he is. That guy's a jerk. I wonder what all these pipes are for. I don't know. Let's shoot them. Right. Wrong button. This one has a... You opened the door. Yeah, I did. Chemicals. Other strange liquids. Nothing in there? Nothing in there. Oh, bottles of highly flammable material. Better be cautious. What was that? See, look. It's blinky over here. Why is it blinky over here? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh... Control console, best not to touch anything now. After all, I'm just a guest here. Well, I don't know if guest is the right word. Intruder, I think, is probably more better. Changing clothes in there. Uh, we can go back here, look at some more things. Changing clothes, changing clothes, changing clothes. Boxes. Oops. 
You should know that the polter blast can also be essential for opening packages, uh, passages that would be otherwise be blocked. Try shooting the wall in front of you. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's loud. Take that wall. Probably should save my ammo. Uh, a rather obsolete computer, especially when compared with the technical level of this lab. Control stuff. Toxic stuff. Let's go in here. Taking acids. Enter password. Oh, um, oh, I don't know. Um. One, two, three, four is not a safe enough code. Maybe, maybe we're missing a code thing. Uh, we know it's not one, two, three, four, right? If I can push the right buttons here. One, two, three, four. Nope, not good enough. So we're missing a we're missing a code somewhere. Where could it be? It must be somewhere somewhere down. It must be somewhere down here. Unless we left it way at the very back. No, I think we I think we searched pretty much everything though. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget to collect... Uh, you can analyze all the collected documents with the polter scope. Oh, yeah. I think I know what you... Important notes starting from today. Password to the zone is 2361. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think... I think something's going on here. During the game, you'll find places where you can stock up on ammunition. Life or energy as many times as you want. Okay. I think I know what something's going on here. I have an idea. So, remember, he's trying to fool his, his people. I want to look at this. And I want to go... Yes, it changes. 1632. Aha! I'm on to you, Doctor. Battery power-up. Sure, sure. Anything else in here we need? Ammo department. Sure. There we go. 750 things now. Let's go back over this way. Okay. Now. Now. What was it? 1632? Now we know the code. We're going to get into the scary lab. Here it is. Okay. Aha! Let me go save real quick. Freak. And... Oops. what did I do? Well, at least it's a great opportunity to practice with the Polter Blast. Oh, my! Dr. Melville's up to no good. Ah, ah, die, zombie. Let me try. Uh, I'm sorry to think Melville's research has gone a little bit too far. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Oh. Die, zombie. I found uh, a health potion. Oh, a level up also? Is that Why is that on fire? That seems dangerous. The alarm's getting old real quick. High voltage, stay away. Um, let me go look. This seems like I shouldn't be here much longer. Dissected body of a zombie on a stretcher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow! None of that! <laughs> Strange. Sophisticated things, yeah. Okay, okay. Shoot him. Kill him. Open things up. Toxic waste. I uh, found something. I found a hamburger. There's a hamburger down here. I, I've never been into a zombie-infested lab before, but... I mean, not the place you want to eat a Big Mac. Ouch. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can play these kind of games. I'm not scared. <laughs> All I gotta do is push two buttons. I found a... Oh, it's life up is what it says. Not level up. That makes a little more sense. These all have zombies in them. Oh, I got another. I got a sandwich down here. What is going on down here? That alarm. It's getting real old. Oh, the area should be clear. Well, I can. What can I say? Uh, even though I haven't used this gadget for ten years, I still know how to handle it. Yep. 
curious, maybe I should be using that. What kind of experiments were they conducting here? Nothing there. Okay. Back through here. Uh, watch out for ghosts. These enemies are invisible to the naked eye. While you need them to wear, you need to wear your visor. Oh, oh, oh. I don't notice anything strange, but oh, there's one right there. Can I shoot it? I can shoot like this, right? Take that, ghost. Ho, ho, ho. What's that? Ammo. Okay. Uh, and battery. Good, good, good. Let's go this way. We've, we've cleaned out all the zombies. We've got a door over here, which we've been to before, judging by the dead zombies. We have not... We came through this door, right? We want to go this way. At last, here's Melville's secret study. If you left any clue, this is the place to search. Okay, I'm going to search. Control console connected to really huge surveillance monitors. Must have cost a fortune. We found a filing cabinet with recent date. A dossier with the uh, list of what I think are Melville's assistants. Names and personal data from each of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. What's this one? Expedition for the Blackwood House. We'll leave the day after tomorrow, the first thing in the morning. My assistants have been carefully chosen according to their characteristics. If I'm not, uh, if I'm lucky, I will manage to get my hands on the last descendants' manuscripts, which are still missing, and give Project Eighty Eight the turning point it needs. Okay. Cool. Cool. More. The weeks of non-progress with Project 88, I discovered the place, this place, which seems to be an extremely strong hotspot situated in an isolated place in Scotland. A certain house where the Blackwood dynasty, a local family, lived for generations, according to what I managed to discover. The last descendants of the family, Norman Blackwood, was very likely in possession of the key to success of the project, which I have been working on for years already. Sure. I've got all the information I need. Haunted houses in Scotland, secret experiments, Project 88. I have to understand what is in what trouble the old madman and his team were in. All right. Done? Some really impressive machinery. Yeah. I think I think we're good. Can I shoot that wall? No? No ghost in here? No? Okay, okay, okay. So we want to go out, correct? We're going to go back to the main, the main part of the house. If I remember correctly, I would assume we're done here, right? We're done. So let's leave. And go back to... Over that late. Oh, 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 I think I can go right. Oh, maybe. Is this the right way? I don't know. Batteries. And this is not the right way. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go the right way. Which is who knows where. Um, go back this way. Um, I go back up all the way up to all this stuff. All right, all right. I'm gonna jump things. Any ghosts in here? Nope. Uh, this is the one right. Yeah. Probably should have saved right there. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Don't turn that off before you're ready. Ow! That really hurt. All right. Um. Uh... Out the window. Let's go. Uh, let's go see what uh, the uh, lady of the house has to say. For all this, I could eat this. I'm gonna. Let me put. Hey, how, how the hell did you get in here, uh, madam? I'd love to stop and have a cup of tea with you, but unfortunately, I have more urgent matters to deal with. Maybe next time. And speaking of things to do, if I were you, I would check the basement. Someone has made an awful mess downstairs. Goodbye and say hello to Ron Moss. You're very funny. Really. Poor fool. Today, I was feeling particularly indulgent. I tried to spare your life. But you wanted to meddle in affairs that do not concern you. She has changed her face. So now I will be forced to kill you slowly and painfully. In fact, I must say that I won't mind at all. Gasp! Uh, shoot her! Woo! She's shooting green balls of things at me. Oh, don't stand on them when they're, when they're burning. Oh, man. Can I come on this side? No killing me. I would really like to get my uh, my health. Can I can I go in here without? Yeah, I can. I can. I want uh, I want this. I want to take one. There we go. There we go. Take that, lady. Got her. Ugh. You have no. You have defeated me. 
but you have no idea the enemy you made. Death will be the least of your worries at Blackwood House. The master will save the same treatment for you as he did for your friend. Then you'll re regret interfering in business bigger than you. Ah! Take that. That was close. In fact, good thing I had that sandwich. <laughs> now that I have think about it, Melville never had a maid. I'm afraid... How did I know that? It's ten years ago. Uh, I'm afraid even just to think in what trouble the senile old man must have gotten himself into. And what dark fortress did he awaken? And what was the horrible monster doing in this house? And I got a, some beef jerky from her. Okay. Whoops. Uh, so we're good to go. Let's go back to our car and head out of here. Amanda, do you copy? Loud and clear, Professor. I just left my old colleague Melville's lab, and you'll never believe what I found. As usual, you were right. There's something strange about this story, and his disappearance is very suspicious. Now I have to leave for Scotland immediately. I'll give you all the details during the trip, and in the meantime, you look for everything you can find about a certain Blackwood family. Scotland. I'll do what I can, Professor. I'll let you know as soon as I have something useful. Okay. And there we go. And that's what we're going to call it. Now, certainly Melville got himself into trouble and needs help, but fortunately, Pendergast was able to find out where exactly to start the search. A remote Scottish town known as Creekbury. An uh, extremely isolated place permeated by beliefs and superstitions. Here, in a dark, sinister-looking house, the Blackwoods, a rich and powerful local family, lived and prospered for decades. Over time, many mysterious stories about each family member arose, especially all about the last heir, Norman Blackwood. Known as an alchemist and scholar of occult sciences, Norman disappeared in the mysterious circumstances in 1929. Since then, the house, uninhabited, has descended further and further into ruin, but the locals are careful not to get too close, I think. Uh, it's easy to see how all this has contributed to the creation of many scary supernatural legends. The Pendergast knows that legends often originate from real facts, however incredible they may seem. And for the reason, this reason, he took the first flight to Scotland and discovered the truth and find his missing friend. Ghostly Matter. Thanks again for watching. Again, this uh, obviously is Ghostly Matter. It's available on Steam now. I'll have a link below. And I will see you next time.